be wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. There's the whistle. Straight out wide. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Finds himself eased off the ball. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Is on the back foot, gets wrestled off the ball. Drives it towards the front. Away from immediate danger. That's been drilled forward. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Forward it goes. Gets it back. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's there to clear it. And it's half time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Think we'll back on the first 45 minutes. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. So we're already into the second period. The United Arab Emirates can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere.
Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, into the second half, and it's still goalless. It is still anyone's game, nil-nil. It's gone for a throw-in. Up towards the front line. And that's surely a foul free kick. Cleared away. And it's got through. Lovely bit of skill. There are a few waiting for it. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Keeper barely had to move. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. And a frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points, and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.